For these large clinical studies like Protocol G, most scientists have tested a few HIV-infected people's sera, handfuls of sera at a time. And if you do that, you don't find many that have potent antibodies. But when IAVI came along and the Protocol G came along, they tested hundreds of people. And they were able to define and describe the fact that the immune system can make potent antibodies. And that really changed the thinking in the field because if the immune system in some people can do it during infection, that means that we can do the same thing with a vaccine. If a vaccine only worked as well as natural infection does at eliciting broadly neutralizing antibodies, it wouldn't be a worthwhile vaccine. So we have to do far, far better. So it's a really big scientific challenge. The mood in the HIV vaccine field is very upbeat. We can find very potent antibodies against the virus. And we understand the virus much better. We can see every atom of how it's put together, which means we can then make that envelope as a vaccine and we can manipulate it if we need to be to make a better vaccine. That was proof of principle, not only that an artificial vaccine could induce neutralizing antibodies, which for us is the bottom line, but also proof of principle that one can focus immune responses on very precise structural epitopes, which we'll need to do for HIV.